coming right next to Stalberg, going to be heading there on the southern side of the Sosnovka Island. Then, of course, we can already guess multiple landing places, or not to guess, we know them. It's going to be end stake in Severny. We can see a uh, Polish power actually heading towards the Kameshki area, and we live again also uh, having a very northern location. This time we have Red Line heading for the Jasnaya, and then we have Nuclear Penguins going for the Mansion area, maybe a little bit more on the northern side of it. Adeps heading somewhere on the... Uh, well, let's see. On the northern side of the ruins, probably going to be taking some vehicles, and maybe they will go all the way on the hospital area. As we saw yesterday, Virtus Pro, of course, will take the uh, the area on the school and the apartments and the J compound maybe as well. We can see BBL going for Roshok, which they did yesterday as well. Liquid for Pochinki. Uh, we have Erangel only going going for the shelter and the prison area. LW for the Mulda Power and Face, of course, for Mulda Cursed on the farm area. Navi on the usual places there on the uh, on the western side of the Snake. M4 for the Fairy Pier and Fago will be going for the Sosnovka Island. So uh, that's pretty much the split. 10 seconds when, and we'll see the circle and that, then we're going to be a little bit more wiser what's going to happen next. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we did see this exact plane path, I believe, yesterday as well. And nothing major came out of that one. So no surprises here that things are pretty stable. Uh, we do get to see the zone, though. It's going to pop right on top of the uh, Yasnaya. Yeah, phase is definitely going to end up on that compound. The question is just what kind of route do they take in? I think actually it seems like they're gonna <gasps> crash for here. Alamo here. Yeah, uh, and Navi only has two players here as well. We can see phase already taking the shots towards them. First phase stopping wide in the open. Yeah, they're just going here and Vex Ooh. with the first initial knock. Gustav straight in together with HC, run into the Molotov, but they don't even care. They just move in, take the both of Navi out, and this is yeah, this is just Navi not being ready for for this kind of a move and phase once again getting paid out for their aggression. Yeah, that is that is what I meant. Like yesterday, they were also very aggressive, and this time they're not really like sitting on the hills. They just want to take these places. So three players from the Navi will be taken down by phase. It's gonna be Gusta and Fex who will get those kills. And that's gonna be a good opening for them, definitely getting those two early kills, keeping all the four players alive as well. And then the end solution from Kirsten. We can see Silas going for it. So let's see what's gonna be the plan. He will go right next to Navi, and there's gonna be nades already uh -oh, coming Navi. in. It's gonna be Silas crashing here. Will not be hitting those nades, but they have a secondary vehicle. Be shift knocking down, but well, that one net is going to be doing damage to our shift, but not towards Silas. And they will be also blocking the entry with the uh, with the uh, uh, with the vehicle as well. Silas with a good Molotov cocktail will not be picking up the uh, the Navi players, unfortunately. Can't really go for the door because the car is going to be blocking the entry from there. That's going to be a problem. Example with the nade from the second floor, Molly is going to be catching there. And we can see Philo going from the other side of the building. Melma's going to be trying to peek from the window. Silas hopefully not going to be reversing <laughs> on top of Silas shift because he needs to move. They can't really move it. And now we have. Navi making those moves. They will come. There we have the spread. The screen side is falling down as well. Two players from Curse. They are down. And it's going to be only Philo who needs to defend this whole situation. Two players from Navi. And can Philo still keep Team Cursed up and running? Digger is going to be getting nailed up down at the same time. Ha fights are happening in other places as well. But Philo with the one versus two situation will still try to stay alive. Will keep the Cursed alive for now. But I'm mean, Navi. They are hunting. They are coming. Example. Melman, what can they do? They are on the other side. They hear the footsteps. They know that he's going to be here. And let's see what Philo can do gonna be flashbang completely and they are coming and that's gonna be end of team cursed no chance for him at all there's no chance and meanwhile like you mentioned ends up the first knock over towards red line now they've pushed up they've gotten ivas as well but the revivers come in lukrux will stand his ground against rustanmar and that means it's a three versus three but no qb with an excellent name will flush out squeaky here which means tixu and diggory they're gonna have to fight hard for this one i mean this red line squad they were so hot yesterday and it's been struggling a little bit taking some third party from adepts as well this one has turned out to be a nightmare yeah, it's, NC, NC's having a lot of trouble here. I mean, they will lose two players. Red line, they will, of course, lose one player as well. But still, it's going to be NC more in trouble. We can meanwhile see some other situations building up as well because we have the happenings here on the dips on the craters. We do have uh, nuclear penguins on the next crater than the Polish power. We can see Scooby getting fighting, getting down, actually, by Arangel only from the distance. So Polish power, they're still completely alive. But now that's going to be Nades. That's going to be getting Scooby down. What's going to happen with Artix and Enino? Will they go for it as well? They have some defensive smokes there 
in the place double VLA right next to it and we actually saw double VLA rotating away from the Yasna right next to the end fight as well but they just decided to come here so they want to get some kills they're very aggressive with their rotation as well so that's gonna be a good sign for now and now we can see the nades coming they want the third party to double VLA with those nades they will find something maybe only 20 HP damage so Polish power they're covering between two different these double VLA and nuclear premiums on the other side but they still have the form and stack running yeah, but they lose the zone here, and all of these three teams actually now have to move. The same thing goes for the fight going on between Ants and Redline. So we have multiple situations right now that are just waiting to explode. Uh, I would say literally, because there's a nade flying in towards Ants here, and it's going to go a little bit too far. Yeah, it's going to be close, but it's not going to be close enough, unfortunately. Now the nuclear penguins and Polish power seems to be fighting there on the southern side. At the same time, that's going to be nade thrown by Diggory, and we can see nuclear penguins being destroyed by the Polish power. Five kills for, for them already and now they want to go for the double VLA definitely because they know that there was people and we can see Fago actually crashing on their angle only and we do have some more action nades gonna be thrown more oh, that's gonna be one two player nades. down two nades that's gonna be a rhino oh ball of the four that's gonna be a whole <laughs> team blue star and crazy that is a boom that is absolutely a boom. Huge play from Erangel only. They defend so well. And now Redline down to actually only QBE. Nailup has been knocked down, but he will be revived, it seems. Tixu with the nade in hand doesn't, uh, doesn't find the exact position where they are reviving either. So that should mean Redline now will be up with two players. They still have to move a little bit as we also see Norkis here going down. That is FaZe Clan suddenly getting a visitor uh, from somewhere, but he's stolen away. So once again, FaZe will lose another kill to Erangel only as Polish power have to back up but still outside of the zone this one is a fairly hard one to solve. I mean Polish power they need to get inside and there's a double VLA and also we do have uh, Erangel only waiting and also where to throw and we can see Adams actually crashing on Liquid and EP's just gonna be getting now better. Team's gonna be getting contact there's gonna be few people dying and that's gonna end of Adam just in a matter of seconds. Liquid they are very nicely defending the compound they have three kills to get the whole team down so that's gonna be a good opening for them as well. They have the circle they have the compound and and that's going to be added falling down. So down to 10 teams and 30 players. Still the situation happening with the double VLA and Polish power here outside of the circle. There's there will still be some nades remaining for double VLA. And the problem is going to be Virtus Pro and Erangel only. So it's not going to be only double VLA. It's going to be perfect. It's getting Crunio. And now it's going to be Cappy on the fire as well. We'll still try to go for the revival. But it's going to be very risky business. The Blue is going to be taking him down. And that's going to end of the Polish power. But now it's going to be the same situation for the double VLA. Four kills for them. But they will have to go towards the Virtus Pro. And we can see perfect. He's just following what's going to happen here. Fade is going to be getting Spyro down, but Batuli will get Fade, but still one player remaining for the double VLA and also Erong alone. They're just barely inside of the circus of Virtus Pro, definitely. They have the Grand Master holding position. Shots coming from Batuli. It's going to be fourth, Lesti going down from the blue zone, but Batuli will get the final shot. And if we live again, they will fall, so they don't leave again anymore. Yeah, meanwhile, Redline here, they crashed in, but BBL very quickly moves out towards them and takes them down. Redline out in eighth position, but they do get that one point for their placement. And now we get to see the placement points trickling in. Erangel only, still four players alive, have to move in and take the fight to Virtus Pro to BBL. They both lose the zone here, but uh, Virtus Pro here, the question is who is able to third party who? And we also have FaZe in the mix whenever this fight will break out. At the same time, on the southwestern side, M Force is pretty much stuck in uh, nowhere's land, and the same thing kind of goes to Navi. And there we have the spray coming from Mitraleos. Takes a lot, takes, gives a lot of damage towards Virtus Pro because Virtus Pro they had an idea to take down Erangel only when they're going to be starting, but at the same time, BBL had an idea that they'll take the Virtus Pro down when they will be coming from the ridge to get those shots. Uh, Utility is going to be thrown both sides. Erangel only and Virtus Pro. Erangel only gets a lot of damage from those Gaxi. Almost falls down, and he's going to fall down for the third nade, and there's going to be a fourth one as well. So Gaxi. Should go down complete. His mass is going to be getting Ooh, crazy down. So BBL from the side, they will find the angles as well. Erangel only. I don't know how they can be still surviving. But the Virtus Pro, they are still having a pretty good situation. Face is going to be moving inside as well because Circle has been shifting as we can see. And they will come here right on the southern side. But it's going to be Virtus Pro, kind of like king of the hill for now. And they are just trying uh to defend both sides. Yeah, but not for long, because look at this. Phase is crawling up on them, and three angles should be too much for Virtus Pro to handle at this stage. The air angle only is nowhere in position to punish Phase, and they should have a fairly free push up there. That's a first nade thrown out, and it will almost connect with Virtus Pro, but Fex finds the spray over towards Perfectus. Now Butlin lose Pyro. They're in all sorts of problems. Mitraleus gets a knock as well, and Virtus Pro goes down one by one. Mitraleus gets all of them, and BB else stay alive for now. 
Yeah, I mean, it's such a crazy situation, but there's gonna be Virtus Pro going down, and now we can see also Chris Maskey defending versus uh, Crazy as well, so we're not gonna load down the Mock and Duck anymore, and Blue Star, Blue Star's gonna fall Ooh. down as well, so Smash with those great shots, getting two players down, Mock and Duck still as the last player from the Arangel only tries to get some his revenge, but it's gonna be almost, um, well, not the mission impossible, but definitely gonna be a hard situation, because Face is gonna be also coming at the backside at the same time, now he's gonna be spotting some players, wants to get some points, we'll get one, we'll get two, but we'll be taken down by Smash, so Smash is gonna be the another hero, Hero of the fight because he's gonna be getting a lot of kills, but now it's gonna be face clan coming on the backside of PBL. And there we have Code Mark almost flushed, already flushed down completely. Mitral is gonna like defending the angle, gonna be waiting. There we have fast face, fast face gonna fall down. So that's gonna be one. But what's gonna what, what is gonna be Fex doing? That's what we want to see. Smash versus Fex. That's gonna be definitely a thing. And Mitral is of course with the great performance as well. I mean, these individual players just getting all the damage done. And face is gonna be a little bit like retreating back there. One, two, uh, to save fast face as well. Gusta will get Mitral and that's going to be leaving only these two players for the BBL remaining, and they are trying to leave. They are trying to leave, but Face is not going to be giving that chance for them, because it's going to be only Mert remaining, and he needs to fight. They want him to fight, but he's going to be going to Pro, and it's going to be Gusta and Aitzi now watching it, just uh, next to the rock there, and they know that there's going to be still one player here. They, they, they tried to run away, but BBL, they were not successful at the same time. We have Fast Face revived as well, so they have all the four, four players up and running, and that's going to be Mert falling down. It's going to be Fex in the end getting that kill, as we do have also example destroying the remains of the M4 on the south and side. That's going to leave only Face, Liquid, and Navi on the top three fight. Yeah, and quite, uh, quite uh, lucky here, I would say, for example, to pick up those two kills. I mean, Liquid was looking over towards that direction with four players towards M-Force. Uh, example is able to pick up both of those kills, and that's going to be super important for him, staying alive for such a long time. And also, I mean, yes, he's probably not going to progress from here, but he's already in third place. They already have five kills. This is a huge, huge improvement from what we saw from Na'Vi. Be interesting, because now the circle also has shifted away from Faze's location. They can still basically stay a little bit more longer on top of that hill, but not for long. So they will have to come, and Max is going to be the first player joining. We can see now Ibiza and James also joining the fight here on the other side of the street, so that's going to be a good move. They will take the, the, the possession of the middle of the circle. Faze is going to be now trying to move the mirror, because we can see Maxi going for it, and there we go. They are coming, and the spray, that's going to be one. Can he get more? The drive by side. No, oh. and Delco one as well. And that's going to be Faze getting lower and more people. Fex is going to fall down as well. And it's going to be only Fast Faze. The, the Chuck Norris himself getting one, but it's not going to be enough. And Team Liquid, seven kills in the end, taking down Faze Clan as a whole in the end. We normally expect Team Liquid to have like one massive day and then they have a bad day after just to make things a little bit exciting for us. But I mean, you can make it exciting this way as well. Taking the fight to FaZe there in the end. FaZe tries to rotate around and kind of get on the backside, the open side of Liquid in order to have some free vision and just spend the amount of time.